Hey everyone, welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Alex Wilkie. Today we have a great show lined up for you. Brianna Goss is joining us. She's a singer, songwriter, played across Canada and had a lot of success. Most recently, she's had her song, Fall For You, featured on Mum's The Word with Brooke Shields. Have a listen. Now, this is what I call service. Oh, here you go. Thank you, they're very beautiful. Can I, uh, can I get you a drink? Let's say, uh, Pinot Gratio. <clears throat> Beer. <laughs> Draft. Okay. Uh, Heavenly, can I get a couple pints, please? Thanks. Uh, um, look, I, I can't stay very long. But you look like you want to talk to me about something. That was Brianna Goss's Fall For You. Hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna go have a chat with Bri inside right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Real Talk. My name is Alex, I'm your host. I'm here with Brianna Goss. Singer, songwriter, <laughs> all around rad person. No problem. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna play some Jenga here yeah. today. Are you like, what's your experience with Jenga? My experience with Jenga is just a lot of like toppling. <laughs> just a lot of that. That's, I mean, like, that's that's like the end goal anyway. I guess, I guess. so. It's just like, a matter of time, hey? A second, as soon as I started to like reach for one, my hand started trembling <laughs> immediately. Oh, you're going right for the supports. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm like a middle block, sort of. Okay, yeah. See if I can sneak one. Aha! Start, start stable. There we go. Okay. No major disasters yet. <laughs> no. We're on, we're on a good... Like, I wonder if anyone's actually lost Jenga, like, the first. <laughs> How disappointing, because that takes so long to build up. It just doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Put, like, so much time and effort into it, and then it's right. just all back. <laughs> So you're like, as a musician, you're known as, like, you've done a lot of collaboration with a lot of different people. Yeah. Um, like, what, what is it you find that you get most out of working with other musicians, artists, I, and other things? I just really have always enjoyed co-writing. It's always been, like, one of my favorite experiences um, in the music industry thus far. Um, my favorite part about music is the writing and sort of the behind the scenes. Um, and I find just working with new people and getting to pick their brains is super exciting and interesting. So, mm. yeah, that's, I think, I've always been drawn to that. Nice. Yeah. Like, it's really cool, too, like, if you get to, like, meeting other people, not just in, like, your field, but because, like, you work with a lot of different yeah. types of people. Definitely. Um, yeah, definitely getting to, like, hear their ideas and learn new stuff, I imagine. Oh, for sure. Um, working with different producers and stuff too, I find you can have an idea for a song and bring it to five different people and you'll get five totally different songs out of it. So it's just, it's like the more more possibilities. It's, it's yeah, really fun. Yeah. I always find too, whenever you work on those kind of projects, it like, it never goes how you expected it to, but it's almost no, like No, but that's thing. like the nice part about it, right? Yeah, you have to, yeah. That's something I've really found. You have to learn how to like let go a little bit and just kind of like let the creative process take its course and see what you end up with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Feel that for sure. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm All gonna right, go we're getting to the, yeah. the scary ones. There we go. I saw. I like, saw a little wobble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how risky mm. this is if I go for like. I'm, I want to try to like balance this guy <laughs> out. You know, I, sh I I didn't take any engineering courses. What am I doing? <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So was there, like, for you, was there any kind of particular moment where you knew, like, music was something you really wanted to get into? I think the, that moment sort of came after high school, but it was less of realizing that music was something that I wanted to do and more that I realized music was never going to be something I didn't not want to do, you know? Yeah, it was like yeah. I kept waiting for the day that I was going to wake up and be like, oh, you know, this is, I'm going to choose this career and follow this sort of path. But then I realized music is, is always going to be a part of my life and I'm going to, I'm going to do it for as long as I can. So. Nice, yeah. nice. I find it too with a lot of uh, 
artistically inclined people. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's something that never leaves you almost. No, you can't really turn it off. It's just the way people look at the world and that goes for any sort of passion that anybody has, not just music, so. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's important for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Going right for the bottom. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to trip you up now. <laughs> I'm getting strategic with it. <laughs> so what do you, um, have you had any sort of embarrassing or awkward moments that you've had happen on stage in your experience? Like, probably every time I get on a stage. <laughs> That's, I, I love performing and I love singing, but something about getting on stage in front of a room full of people who are all just staring at you is a very unnatural experience. <laughs> and it, re it does, it makes you really nervous. Um, a funny one that I had happen recently was just, it was probably about a month ago, uh, Steve Maloney and I were in Woody Point for the Writers' Festival and we were opening for Ron Sexsmith. And so this is one of like my bigger shows that I've done and I was so nervous. It was our opening night, we did two nights. Um, and we'd had our sound check earlier that day and it went well. Um, and so we come back an hour before the show, we're getting ready, we're getting sort of amped up behind stage. And then as they introduce us and go to walk on stage, um, I go and stand in front of my stand and ready to sing the first song and I look up and there's no microphone in my stand <laughs> and I'm like in a, like a room full of like 300 people just sitting silently staring up at me and I have no no plan after this I'm like it's, I'm either gonna have to do this acapella or like <laughs> wait I ended up telling some really bad jokes while I waited for someone to bring me a microphone but it was, it was a nice icebreaker people laughed they didn't me off. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mic. Like. So, well, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah. Show is over. Yeah. Like. It was pretty funny, though. Wow. <laughs> Imagine, too, it's difficult. Like, you can't even communicate. Like, you don't have a microphone to, like, Yeah, explain. I have to say, that is, it had never <laughs> happened to me before. I've had lots of funny experiences, but never, never no microphone. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had, uh, I used to play drums in high school, and okay, cool. um, yeah. I did a, it was like a performing art show, and I went and did a drum solo for it, but ten seconds into it, the drum snake flies out of my hand, and like lands ten feet in front, like on oh the center my stage, gosh. so I just had to like suck it up, just get up, and like go. <laughs> go get I've always wondered what happens, I feel like those would be pretty easy things to kind of just like let fly out mm. of your hand. I mean, I you're, you're supposed to have spares with you yeah. on stage, but like... And me, this is the story of how you always have extra drumsticks <laughs> now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me being like a fool... When I was a child, like four years ago, I was like foolish and like yeah. didn't heed someone else's advice. Right, but. right. It's funny, I'm going to have to start bringing microphones to my gigs. You'll bring drumsticks, <laughs> I'll bring microphones. Bring, always have a spare. Right. This is already very, It's getting a little wobbly. Yeah. I'm getting a little nervous. But uh, I do not nice. have like maybe it's coffee that I had earlier, but I definitely don't have steady hands. The going jitters, on. yeah. Yeah. Now, is there a rule? Can I take from the ones that we've already laid down? Oh yeah, I think. All right, I'm doing like, it. Okay. There you go. Nice. Playing it safe. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this one. Uh, next question is kind of like out of left field a little bit, but I, I find it's like a, a personality revealing kind of thing. So oh if, if your house caught on fire, yeah. and like all your roommates, like your pets, every, everybody's safe, no one's okay. in danger, but you can go back and you can get one thing. Yeah. What what would you get? Oh, one thing? Yeah, yeah. Out of all your possessions, I'd what's say, the one? Well, like, like a guitar, you know, those are, they're yeah. expensive. I use it pretty frequently. Some sentimental value also there too. probably like, I don't know. I really like my coffee maker. <laughs> I use that a lot. Like in the morning, I don't know what I do with that. Like my little French press. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. A good French press yeah. is hard. To I was, up. but the cat is fine, right? Like I, my yeah, cat yeah, and yeah. my roommates the are cat, all fine. The cat's fine. Then the coffee maker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, that's like cat, then coffee maker. Ease, okay. There's essentials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh -huh. I feel like I have like two answers for that. Where like, if uh, if I'm feeling like sentimental in the moment, I have like a like a childhood stuffed animal I oh, got yeah. in my room. Oh my poor Teddy. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> to be honest though, like I think I'm I'm right with you with the more essentials because I think sure. if it came down to it, I'd 
probably save my computer and yep. <laughs> ditch everything else. That's, a, that's like, definitely a good choice too. <laughs> It always freaked me out in like school fire drills when they were like, you can't take your bag with you. I'm like, but all of my things are in my bag. It can go on my back. I'm not leaving this here in like yeah. the fiery building anyways. So. And it's like, if it's right there at your feet Honestly. or something too, I'm, I'm taking my bag. Unreasonable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire, but I'm taking yeah. my bag but, with me. But yeah, my iPhone is coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it's my turn right now, right? I think I so. Or maybe, yeah. Well, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll Pass stop. that one off on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. I really got to plan this one out, I feel, because this is mm -hmm. like... The, I, <gasps> I shouldn't even touch the table, really. Like. This is just like an extra Jenga block. Like, the table is like one big Jenga <laughs> block. It Don't like, disturb it. It's like a little wobbly, too. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> I always find... With Jenga, though, you get those... You get those, like, ones that don't even... Like it, it's almost they all won't budge. Yeah. Oh wait, there we go. There you go. Eh. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. That looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's not very many with like three left anymore. So it's, it's mm. like you have to. Oh my. No. Nope. <laughs> 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 okay, we're gonna go with. Ooh. None of them want to move. Oh, oh, that's a little risky. That's how I lose the game if I move that one. We won't do that one. We'll, we'll save that one for, for the end. Okay, let's check out this side. Mm. Oh man, okay. Uh, that's the one, that's it. Are you gonna, is it? We're good. We're good. There it's, you go. It's like once you start getting it on the, the one block and yeah. it starts like to wobble yeah. on that is when it really starts to yeah. starts to kick in. But that's how, if you can if you can pull that off oh. and you can do it, but then the next move, you're doomed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you you should put that on like a resume if you can yeah. pull one of yeah, those totally. off. Like, <laughs> I don't have ugh. I don't have a master's and I don't have five years experience. <laughs> but <laughs> a mean game of Jenga, which I might prove wrong in two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with how how little toppling there's been so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're doing a pretty good this job so games. far. Yeah. So okay. would you say, other than getting this far in Jenga, <laughs> what's, what do you think has been your, your greatest accomplishment? Um, hmm. Like, Musically, I was I really did have a good summer. I played with a ton of people that I've wanted to play with for a long time. Had some amazing experiences. Opening for Ron Sexsmith was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, it was really fun too. This past uh, month, I opened for Yukon Blonde, and there was sort of some like they were high school heroes a little bit for me. So that, that was really neat to kind of get to level with them in a in a personal way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's it's a it's, it's been fun. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. It must have been a fun show too with UConn Blonde, mm -hmm. I feel like. They were so entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really, they're crowd pleasers. They stay, they, I think they did like four or five encores or something like that. Wow, so uh, Yeah, they really care about their, their fans. Mm -hmm. it's, nice. it's nice to see that too. It is, it's so nice. Yeah, it's great. I, <laughs> Every mm, so nice and uh, like I just totally on end. You know, we're having this lovely conversation, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keeps it keeps everything interesting. I mm -hmm. feel. Honestly, I feel like Jenga is the game of like yogi masters. Though you have to, yeah. it's like a Zen state of mind. It's a great mental in. test. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Stress management. So like uh, getting to play with people like Yukon Blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you, you played with uh, Joel Plaskett before yeah. as well. Like, have you had any sort of like fangirl moments where like, <gasps> can't believe I'm like You know talking. what, I, I, did a, I did a songwriter circle with uh, Mo Kenny two years ago, I think. It was at the ECMAs. Okay. And every song she played, I was just trying not to like sing along with every word. And I ended up telling her that after, which was kind of awkward and she was like, Oh, like you could have and I was like abort like I don't have <laughs> this conversation's done but like it was cool to meet her so. mm -hmm, nice I'm yeah. sure she she definitely like appreciated that too I feel like, like. equal parts appreciation and also weirded out 
you know. I would say it comes with the territory of, of being yeah. an artist, I guess. Yeah. Like, but it is when you put yourself out there like that and you share your songs with people. Um, it is it is really incredible when people come to you and they're like, I, I like this song or this, you know, uh, had an impact on me. And it's like, wow, but also, well, that's kind of, it's like a weird uh, exchange to have with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's always cool. It's, it's interesting that way too, because like you can have, it's, it's almost like the person has like a, a form of connection or mm -hmm. a relationship like yeah. with the, the singer, with the musician, yeah. but it's it's like a one-way thing almost. Yeah, it's like, like, well, it's it's such an interesting thing to share your music, which for a lot of people, myself included, are, they're pretty like intimate um, ideas that are the start of your, 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 your inner dialogue and your, um, your secrets and your hopes and stuff, and just sharing that with strangers, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, it's cool, it's really special, mm. I, I love it. Definitely, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah. I'm not okay, <laughs> is it my turn? I'm just <laughs> stalling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'll, I'll let you uh, pass. Like I'll pass that turn on to you oh since you were my goodness. you were so gracious. To it's me gonna before. have to fall eventually. <laughs> I just don't want to be the one to do it. Mm. <laughs> I believe in you. I got I got faith. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> Okay, this might um. ruin everything. <laughs> I already started doing it. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I'm impressed. Thank Color you. Me, impressed. me too. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just impress yourself, you know? Yeah, like. usually only in scenarios like just Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my prime right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Real life, it's more of a letdown <laughs> majority of the time for yeah. me. But try. Yeah, it's a regular, regular Tuesday. <laughs> try, just try and do what you can. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. So while while I'm trying to like map out this, um, do you think if you could, if you could, uh, bring back any person, uh, musically inclined, mm -hmm. like, who was passed away, to like hang out with, oh. chat with, who, who would it be, who do you think? I have to say I was really heartbroken when Bowie passed away. Mm -hmm. And that was a more recent one, but like I still had in my heart, like maybe I'll still get to meet him someday. And so it was like, that was tough. I just think he was so iconic in so many ways and mm -hmm. so creative, not just in a musical sense, but the way he lived his life was so artistic. Yeah. And I just think that's incredibly inspiring. Definitely. Just to be so unapologetically himself, mm -hmm. I would have loved to have a conversation with somebody like that. So. Especially where it's you're in the public eye constantly, yeah. and it's like yeah, he just like didn't care at all. He was very um, yeah, he seems like a cool, intelligent man. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, nice. Yeah, I feel like I would uh, I would want to have a conversation with Freddie Mercury. Yeah. And also... Well, he was a game changer. He really was, like, groundbreaking. Oh, yeah, musically. yeah. Totally. Right. Yeah. I feel, and honestly, so you're, like, a, a, like, I feel guilty in, like, saying this almost, but, because all around, like, I think super interesting person. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I'd probably just, like, want to sit down and watch Wayne's World with him and, like, <laughs> sing through Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody. Like, bro out a little bit. And, yeah. yeah. Totally. I feel like, I feel like that, would be, that would be an interesting <laughs> experience. I think that would be an exceptionally interesting <laughs> yeah. experience. Yeah. 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 Freddie. Mm. Big time. Mm. Also, like, Beethoven, you know? Yeah, the classic. That guy knew yeah. what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it, like, too extreme. Being, like, deaf as yeah. well, and then also... That's a really heartbreaking story. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think we're we're almost. We're yeah, this is, it's gonna happen. It's gonna is it happen. Gonna, it's yeah. inevitable. Um, we could like topple it together. I mean, just like, joint responsibility. We could. We could. That's like, true. Like pull one out at the same time, so, sort I mean, of thing. We made it. We made it this far. I know. So, yeah, we'll we'll give it a go. Okay. Like where's, I don't know. It seems to be the democratic way to do this. Mm hmm. Hmm. Where yeah, where's like a. I like, Definitely somewhere down here would okay, just like okay, destroy right. this whole right. empire we built. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Do you wanna, we'll take, okay. we'll try like a bottom one here? Yeah, or? I'll take, yeah, let's just go over this one. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll this way. Okay, okay. one, two, two three. three. <laughs> yeah, nice. 
Okay. <laughs> I think maybe that we was we... maybe we should, that was a sign. Yeah. We should keep playing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, do we want to do one one more together? Okay. To see if we can okay. get one. <laughs> if or this it's... if it makes it if this survives this one. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Wait. This one right here. Yeah. Let's try. Okay. That one. Okay. One. One. Two. two three. three. <laughs> there we go. Still, okay. it was, it was, I'm, yeah. impre I'm impressed with both of us. I think honestly. we did really good. Good yeah, teamwork. Thank yeah. You. yeah, good job again. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you so much for joining me oh, here thank today, you for Mocha Napoli. Oh, no problem. We still have one more game to play. So okay. don't go away, everybody. Uh, here at Brianna Goss, we're going to be right back with one more interesting game right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Real Talk, everyone. I'm your host, Alex Wilkie. I'm here with Brianna Goss. Hi. We're going to play two interesting games mm -hmm. that we got in front of us here. Yeah. Uh, one's the pie in the face yep. game. This Seems... one looks fun. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then we've got this one here called Wet Head, where uh -huh. I guess I'm going to spin this, pull some pins out of this, and and then have a wet head. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like bed yeah. head, but, but not. But water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've so, got a nice uh, shower cap. Mm, I feel like we should. To protect from. I feel like we should have traded. Like I should have the shower cap yeah? right now. But <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I just I don't know. I'm excited to see the hair afterwards. Yeah, it's, gonna look, it's gonna be good. I can go first if you want. Sure. I'll be All right. The host, I I'll guess. I'll let you take um, that one. I pull. So I guess you spin this. And pull one. And pull one. I'm still no dry. No wet head? I'm still, still dry. dry. Head? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it my turn now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll spin this little thing. <laughs> Three. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. You got this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh. <laughs> right out of the gate. Number one. <laughs> yeah. This, this feels good. That like launched. <laughs> oh, okay. yo. Okay. Mm, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I want to see how many how many of these do you All think right. I'd have to pull before? You got to get on my level. Okay. You got the very I first. I don't know, but at least then... we got it out of the way. There, there <laughs> wasn't much build to that one. You didn't want to go again, did you? I mean, um, like, I'll pass. Okay. I, think, I think I'm good with the one. All the right, one I'll see. Pie face. Here, I'll let I'll let you do the honors. I get to pull one. Okay. Yeah. With my with my <laughs> hands. All right, let's let's do this. <clears throat> no. Uh, yes, we did it. He's a wet head. Oh my god, that's so much. That is so much water. That is so much water. <sighs> I, I feel was, like we look great right uh, now. Yeah. We're definitely mad. I had like a good five <laughs> seconds to think about it as yeah. it was coming down. <laughs> well, this isn't how I expected my afternoon to go. No, but, but you know what? I feel good about it. Yeah, thank, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you for joining in this experience. Thank you so much me. for having me. <laughs> so, so I think we got a little bit more time left. <laughs> um, so uh, other than going, going to talk shows and um, and whipped cream facials. Yeah. What's <laughs> what, what's a what's a weird habit that you have? A weird habit. Yeah. A I'm weird gonna, habit. I'm this off. Oh, do you know what? And I don't think enough people take advantage of this. In the winter, when things start to cool off, like right now, and it gets a little cold, you don't want to have to like get a heater or blanket. Sometimes mm -hmm. I just take my hair dryer and kind of like <laughs> warm just, myself just up with it. Yeah, That's stay smart. warm. I like stay warm, that. friends. Yeah. <laughs> stay warm. That's so <laughs> stay warm. Don't get whipped cream in your face and yeah. don't don't get water on your hair. But yeah. <laughs> Bree, thank you so much for thank joining you me so here. Much. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. Thanks so much for wa watching everyone. <laughs> this is Real Talk. We're here at Mokanopoli downtown. Have a great day. See you all next time. <laughs> That, I had a lot of time to think about that, like as and like as it was happening. Yeah, and yeah. like I just felt it all, and it all like split too. Like I could feel eat the water all. I didn't went, think it like, happened at first because like nothing really happened, and then no. it was just like a waterfall. Yeah. I, oh that my all, gosh! Mm. So this is like totally. I got whipped. <laughs> I got whipped cream. I was impressed though, you just, you still went, you got it like on your eyelash right yeah, now. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs>
taking a little snapshot of you. Oh no! <laughs> I did the thing. We just we just agreed on that. <laughs> like, I think, oh, I just got it in my nose. I totally just got whipped cream in my nose. <laughs>